Welcome, everyone, to the Real Hoobians cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Chris. What's up, Chris? Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so I totally missed this in the Dr. Falls, and so I just saw it on someone's, on, um, there was like a, um, I think it was a Tumblr or something like that. Um, remember how the doctor is, what's up, Ray? Hey, Ray. Oh, I Remember how the doctor is, like, just started reject. Could you lower that, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, just mute that for a second. I have. Uh, okay. Remember how the doctor is, like, regeneration energy starting after the puddle, like, tear from Bill went into his head, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's remembering all his companions? Yeah. I don't even remember Clara. She was oh. there. No, I know what he's getting at, because he, um, he, he lost his memory, didn't he? Oh, right, 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 right. So how everyone, do you remember Clara? He remembered everyone except how does Clara enter. How yeah. does he remember Clara? Unless he got his memories back, probably. Unless I mean, well, I always, I always thought he... Go on. Go ahead, Ray. I was just going to say, when he channeled Matt Smith's doctor, perhaps he, that part of him remembered. Maybe. Or well, maybe he just came back to him when he was regenerating. I, I was always under the impression that maybe he like he had seen her face on the TARDIS after, you know, what's his name drew it on there, but I don't I don't think he should have remembered oh, her Rigsy. to Rigsy. that extent. Yeah. Like I guess maybe he could remember her face, but maybe not like that. That's well let me answer your question. Being that the regeneration energy we saw it from his head, right? Yeah. Could the regeneration energy have Cured that blockage of him not yes. remembering her. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it. That's probably what's going on because it, and any anything that probably went wrong with him is probably be, like slowly being cured. Like right. so for example, if he was still blind, he probably would have been like he would probably start seeing again. I, right. That's not happening, obviously, because he already has. Or if the monks manipulated that, it would be removed anyway, even if he still yeah. could see. And that's could, probably what's going on. So the regeneration energy erased the blockage of Clara, and now he has a clear view of his memories of Clara. Yeah. yeah. Will that change him in the Christmas special to go after Clara? Or, or like, be, besides meeting the first Doctor, to now, like, because we heard rumors that she may appear, the TARDIS, the diner. Could this open the door for him to complete that cycle and bring her back to the Raven or save her or something. Because even though Bill may be there, that is still one of the biggest things of his tenure as a doctor was Clara. It She's could, but deal. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think they're even going to address it. I don't. Okay. I, as much as I would like it, you know, Moffitt might not just abide by that. I mean, the last thing he thought of was River also. So, I would have liked it to um, because Clara was the first face he saw, like um, Amy with um Matt Smith's doctor. So I would have liked something like that, but that's not going to happen. It's funny because even though we only see them in one episode, he had other companions. I mean, technically, Kazrin Sardik. What is a companion for like how many Christmases? Seven or eight? Like they went different places every year? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and the woman too, that was uh, Catherine Jen- Jenkins, right? They He was with them for I don't know how many adventures, almost like a season, but in the span of one episode. And also, the big game hunter he had adventures with. And Queen Nefertiti as the eleven. That they would, he had, I guess, companions on the side that used to. She's like, well, who the hell? Are you? Remember, Amy was jealous a little bit. Yeah. Like you guys travel with him, like you know what the TARDIS is, all that stuff. Remember? So, it's funny when he shows that, you know, to the audience. The audience wouldn't pick that up that he had other companions, but he did. I mean, because remember the Game Hunter was like, oh, what, what are you having me go on this time? And that was written by Chibnall, Dinosaurs on a Spaceship. 
Yeah. And he's like, oh, he's like, every time we go on these adventures, it's some crazy creature or something. And then, then they went to that the dinosaurs on spaceship. So, um, I'm just, you know, I, I understand not to put that in there because people be like, what are you talking about? But that was part of canon. Just saying. So, yeah. you know. Unless we might see them in their younger cells in the 13th incarnation, but there again, that doesn't explain it. You know, Vastra, Jenny Strax, that was cool. It was weird how he mentioned the Suntarans like right away, like from a past adventure when he woke up. Like that was like in his brain. Could that yeah. mean that the Suntarans are gonna, yeah. it's like a foreshadowing that they're gonna appear soon, but like a different clone batch? Or not just a, a, a throwaway line. Well, I mean, it was a half on past doctor. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was, but how many times have we had throwaway lines? I know. But throwaway lines usually lead to story lines. Well, well, we hope they do. Well, we hope they did. Well, in some cases, we hope they don't. Yeah. Because they said something about, you know, women are in the future, like women of the future. Oh, it's that, like, um, all right, you know. That I just didn't like. I was like, really? You're going to go with that as your final finale episode kind of thing? This is one of like, this is like one of the third or fourth episodes. I don't know if it was in a row, but this is like another episode where they're, they're really hinting at this, you know, that, yeah, we're getting a female doctor soon. Or not. Oh, no, no. I mean, that like, not or not. I think that they're, they're hinting. It will happen eventually yeah. now. That it happen. Yeah. Unless yeah, Signal says that. Yeah. I don't mean the next doctor. I mean, I mean, they're, they're hinting at it a lot. And, and to be honest with you, if it continues in the Chibnall's uh, run, I would not be surprised if he was the one that makes a female doctor. I'm not being rude. Moffat kind of alluded to it, like you said, with a concierge. And then it, then Missy. Oh, sorry, yeah. Corsair, yeah. then Missy. Mm -hmm. So it's got it was actually, it wasn't Moffat. It wasn't Moffat. It was Neil Gaiman that yeah. mentioned the Corsair. And he basically said, that Time Lords didn't switch sex ever mm. until the Corsair. Yeah, and then and then Moffat picked up on it and gave Missy like the master. Well, he's no, 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 but besides that, he rewrote history and tried to say yeah. that they always switch sex, which that's yeah. not what the canon is. Mm. So let's be fair. Um, and the Time Lords are not that great. Let's be fair, because there's poor people on the streets that were killed before the rich time lords were. So, you were saying something, Chris. You were going to say something? No, I, I was going to say, I, I agree. It's not the canon, uh, you know, yet. I, I have a feeling they're going to be like, oh, yeah, it's a regular thing. You could, you know, we could switch sex no matter if what. If I was Jim, though, I'd just, just totally not use it. Yeah, just, yeah. 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 Throw it away. But but we, don't, we, don't know, we don't know what his stance on it is though like he could be all for it we, we have no well, idea you know what it is this, this, this again i'm glad that you know there's always a motto men and women are created equal even though for a while it wasn't that the men were you know mm -hmm. but i don't like this whole rapid change thing where everything female because i again it didn't work for marvel comics it blew up in their face yeah and and I, it's not really working for ghostbusters and it didn't work for a few different things as much as, you know, I don't want to admit it with Ghostbusters, but the thing is that this, even Supergirl, like, everything was female, female, female. It's like, um, you know, enough. So they're doing all this Roshan's age, all these things, gender swapping. There's going to be a thing, just like a backlash where things are going to bomb and that thing is going to be out the window. Now, we even had something about... Fist and the Furious, them talking about all oh, women having more power. First of all, Fist and the Furious, the last villain was Charlize Theron, who was a female. So how much more yeah. female are you going to get than having the villain, the main villain, being a female? I mean, you can't really... What are you going to make it? An all-woman Fist and the Furious team? It, it's, uh, no, but I'm saying this whole female thing, it, it's going to blow up in their face. It's like... But, yeah. It's like... Uh, um, I know, I know. We um, we um, start, said it earlier, and there. But it's like a saying about Bill with, a, with a hinting all the time that she's gay throughout this series. You say it once or twice, but not all the time, do you? 
No. And, and another thing is that Kate Stewart, okay, the daughter of Brigadier. Oh, yeah. Well, is in charge of unit, right? Osgood is the main scientist. Then when Osgood was gone, there was another female that was that scientist. Not only that, but the head, one of the head big persons was Magumba. She was a female. And besides that, one of the head sergeants of unit was a female. So yeah. why is, F here's the thing, right? I know that when they take a picture every year, they show the women of the TARDIS, and they see like a million women in the TARDIS, right? Where's the men? What's going on? Like, why is it that they're pushing this so much that like men are evil type of thing? Like, because it's not. It really isn't. No. Like, I mean, I don't understand what's happening now with, this is too much now with this female thing. I mean, it's, you know, enough already. I mean, yes, Wonder Woman was fantastic. The movie had nothing to do with, she was always Wonder Woman, always whatever. But all this other stuff going on in the background is just way too much. Like the fact that Supergirl hardly ever fights a man is absurd. I'll tell you something, that, that Wonder Woman thing really started to piss me off because I kept seeing these posts about how it's like, oh, finally women have a hero to look up to. And I was like, oh, where the yeah. hell have you been? Yeah. How many yeah. female characters have there been that have, that have been leads in movies that you could look up to? Like when I was a oh. kid, I used to look up to Ripley. Like, what? What? what the yeah. fuck? I mean, or Sarah Connor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, or, I mean, there was tons. There was tons. Seriously. So, so it's like, what, what What? do you mean this is the first? Fe what are they talking about? I 100% I agree with you because a friend of mine, we were having a conversation, and he brought up a good point. He was like, you notice in Star Wars that every major character now is starting to become female? Yeah. yeah or yeah. they're homosexual? And it's like, well, yeah. look at the guy. Well, look at the guy that yeah. killed himself. This guy who was a diehard Star Wars fan. He's like, oh, female lead, and and he was like, and he just killed himself. Like he's like, this is not my Star Wars. It was like it was just ridiculous. People went crazy. But um, I don't know what this is. This is gonna blow up. It's it's gonna phase out in a year or two. Just like you know, there was a zombie craze for years, and that and it's going out, and this whole everything's like female Henry Roar type of thing. That's going to be over with, too. It's going to be back to normal. It's too much, honestly. Do you, think, do you think that could be one of the reasons why the ratings are going down slowly? Because it keeps on internet women and that. I a think that Moffat is shoving a female doctor down her by his throat. I mean, and then the he's affecting the scripts. He's making a... I mean, Gatiss is making a female ice warrior. I mean, oh. the head... I, oh my God, like, every villain, there was a female Zygon... That was Clara. I mean, could we just stop it with this shit? Oswin in the Dalek. I mean, it's just female, 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 female. Stop. They are stop. itching. They are itching for a female doctor. It's it's not it. They I know, they, no. they want that okay. so badly. I think at BBC they mm -hmm. they want to try it so badly. Oh, so I'm not stupid. Sure. And I'm not being disrespectful. I know it got so phone out. I know it got phone out straight away. But I even alluded to it. Early on, before class, saying I was a female doctor before it got thrown yep. out. I gotta tell you, this whole thing, you know what, what we're talking about, and this is Doctor we're talking about, we'll talk about it on everything show, but um, that stuff's getting undone. It's not making the money, and it's ending in the comic wise. So, I don't know, man. I mean, honestly, Doctor Who's ratings are dropping. You know, I think you need to stop with this whole. Women of the future, guys should be dead. It's like, what are you talking about? And the only guys that support that are gay guys. <laughs> it's like gay is like female agenda. And Moffat just going along like, yeah, yeah. I heard everybody on the set was female. Where the guys? There's no guys on the set no more. It's like, wow. You know? And again, I'm, I'm all for equal. Equal. You know? But what's going on? It comes to a point when you need to stop it. Puddle monster. Oh, Female, right? Shielder. That, 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 yeah, Shielder is female. Master is female. I, that's one of the things which I didn't I like mean, the about the puddle monster flying the TARDIS. TARDIS. I just didn't get that. Tasha Lim, puddle monster, river. It's like, come on. Can we get some male villains? I mean, what the hell? Madame Converted, I love Madame Converted, but like, women, 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 women. Like, stop. You know? 
Yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons why I don't think we'll ever see a um, companion. But, but they also make it that men are stupid. Like, I don't understand yeah, that's that. What I mean. That's why. Right, that's Chris? Men are stupid. What is that about? I, I, I used to feel that way when, when Clara was with the doctor. <clears throat> I, I kept I, – I always – I, not, not exactly that, but I was always caught between the field, not caught, but I was always like, oh, they're saying that she's more important than him. And I really wonder if, if it's because she's female. It's, she, it's just, it's a weird dynamic. I got to tell you, when I was a kid, right, I was probably one of the one P person, very few, which at the time there was nobody really in America to watch Doctor Who, right? I did not like the fact that K-9 was getting the spotlight in Doctor Who. Yeah. I felt that it took away his intelligence, that he had to rely on a computer because he was smarter than a computer to solve some stuff like K-9. And I was mad. I was glad when they got rid of K-9. I'm like, as much as I love K-9, I'm like, no, nah, man, the doctor needs to stand on his own. Like, enough with this stupid freaking dog thing, you know? Because mm -hmm. I'm like, I didn't like that they, it, it was taken away from his own show. You know, I love Romana. She was great, but she... Basically, he's like, Doctor knew more than her, so it was okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It wasn't like she tried to take over, you know? But this, this is, is ridiculous. This is one of the reasons why we'll never see a blooming um, male companion, is it? Because they're, they're going to just keep saying, oh, he's stupid. Oh, yeah, a male companion when he's a female doctor, which is stupid yeah. in itself. I'm telling you, Doctor 14, it's gonna, they're, they're going to do it. You know what? I, I just don't want to see it. I don't They're care. Do it. I don't want to see it myself, but I can see it like you, that. I, they, I'm going to tell losing. you right now, Chris. I'm going to tell you right now. If they have the balls and they do it now, and the ratings tank, they're screwed. I, you know, it, it's no funny you said that because I, I started thinking, isn't it like we, we haven't even heard an inkling of who this next person is? No. Mm -hmm. And I'm really starting to wonder. Did they already do it? Well, are we being fed BS that oh, it's a male in his thirties and yada yada yada? Well, let me ask you a question: Did Chibnall want a man, and did they force him to have a woman? I heard a long time ago that Chibnall was really pro female, like yeah. even well, in his shows. I, I don't I know how true that. that is. Um, it, it will know. be over. It will be over if if they keep do listen. You can't force something down someone's throat. And when you keep – I mean, Moffat has been trying since it started. I mean, when Matt Smith regenerated, he thought he was a woman. He's like, oh, no, no, I'm not a woman. I'm yeah, a let girl, whatever. Because he don't, yeah. don't want to be a woman as an 11th doctor. That was Moffat's first effing fucking couple of sentence line. Is that the whole woman thing. Just like when he did the joke about the curse of fatal death, it made the doctor a woman before he even took over Doctor. It was oh. a comedy relief special. So it's always Moffat's brain to do that. And it's like, come on. I don't like I didn't like the dialogue about that well, in you, the finale. You know what you know what too? They um they they did a line a while ago that really made me start thinking like oh this is their defense for people who say oh the doctor would never want to be female. Do you remember in the episode where where Clara quote unquote left before Christmas mm -hmm. and she was yeah. like oh you're gonna go back to Gallifrey and be a king and, and then she was like or a queen. He's like yeah like, that would be cool. Like, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. like no 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 no. No. You don't want to be a female. You said right. you didn't want to be yeah. a female. So now you're flipping the script. So. I think and it was also like um, in in part one of this um, finale episode when he was like saying up to about Missy that I oh, know he was about the man crush, but he said I can't even remember if I was a female back then. What? That was stupid. And also a Vestal Virgin that he was a Vestal Virgin. Well, I think that's I another thing. Up. Oh, and also something too. Okay, what if Bill was still there, right? And he becomes a young female. Is there going to be a romance with Bill and, and him? Oh, and absolutely. Jesus. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Because she said, I, oh, oh, I like it. What does that mean? You're going to become a young woman? I'm still trying to figure out the significance of that line. I am. I, I don't understand. I, like, maybe I'm being stupid, and if I am. Well, I actually thought, I was telling you, I don't know if you heard this today. I did no more cast on this. I saw it again, and I thought that when she said as a Cyberman right before he died that she likes women, I thought that was saying, hey, the Cybermen failed in their reprogramming of me because I still know who I am and what I like. 
Well, in that case, it would have been it would have been good, but I think maybe the line could have been a bit different, so that you know. Right. But you know, and then she's like, you know, it, it's also a thing where, hey, you're a young woman, then we're it's on. <laughs> it's like go <laughs> to the doctor. It's like what? And I want to know. I really want to know too how the the friggin' like the puddle monster all of a sudden has a personality again. Right. She's human <laughs> now. Well, she's like, hey, listen, said. I love. She loves her, but if you want to become human, it's okay. It's like, oh, wow, there's choices now. So she could have her cake and eat it too. She could be with her for a while and say, yeah, I want to be human now. I'm done. Thanks. I'm telling you, that that's why Bill is on set for the Christmas special is that he's going to start crying in this episode and she's going to show up. And he's going to become a woman, right? And, and it's not his, <sighs> I don't know. He's going to start crying and it's not his tears, it's Bill's. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. cause, cause I'm not being rude, Chris. I know it was um they they done that because I'm of um the puddle monster and saying no she'll find her, but I thought Bill would be crying for herself, not because of the puddle monster. Cry me a river. I that's who I'd like to see Capaldi regenerate with River when she's in there. I, I think Marvin's got a sick mind when it comes to this whole master being with that's, himself and stuff and all this other weird stuff going on and it's like, yeah and um and missy being locked up in a bloody vault and that yeah mm. i don't know so that would happen he becomes a young woman him and bill together that's it 100 percent uh, certainty right probably no so it, that's what they're gonna do i don't i, don't, I mean I, don't I was like that, yeah you know what that would work and it's like oh no I don't no. think that's going to happen, but but there, there, there's something is telling me that there's a reason they're not announcing who this next doctor is yet. Are they afraid? I think either they're waiting for Comic Con, which means it's probably a big announcement, or maybe maybe they. Do you are... think that they waited for the finale to happen to see what people say about those lines that Moffat drew in there? See if there's no, a positive thing or I, not. I think they, I think they already have who they want, but my question is. We haven't heard even a hint about who this person is, no. other than that oh, it's a male in his thirties or forties. Like, okay, but what does that like? What does that mean? That that doesn't mean. Honestly, I have a feeling much. whoever's the doctor they're gonna have is not gonna last. It may be a seasoned doctor, and then series twelve, doc, you know, boom, female. I don't. I, I don't I'm, think. I'm this, how would it always work out that the doctor stays three years or four years like a doctor? What if there's somebody like Eccleston that just only wanted to stay a year? Uh, right? I mean, 10 months out of a year, yeah. you got to film. What if a doctor just wanted to be a year and that's okay? Because they know that, that might work. Well, I, 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 I think that, you know, Mike D brought this up on the show a couple of shows ago where he said that he read that line about Capaldi saying, you know, you, you like something along the lines is like, you can only work with what you get, you know, with these scripts. Yeah. I really think that they maybe said, you know, or not forced him out, but I think that when he said, I'm thinking about leaving, they were like, okay. Like, they didn't say, no, 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 stay, Peter. We want you to stay. I have a funny feeling that when he said, I'm thinking about leaving, they were like, all right. Yeah. Because you know even... what the evidence of that was? Every... Been... Wait, Every... wait, 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 wait. This has all been bull crap because Moffat had since episode one or two talking about regeneration. Yeah. yeah I'll just so he didn't, he didn't alter the scripts. He had it in there that they were even going to force him out or whatever. Every episode it was, really. It's like, um, and he's been doing that ever since Matt Smith as well, talking about regeneration and that. I mean, even the hinting that Clara was a doctor, that was another test. Yeah. Now I Missy, line line episode. Missy with this finale, with Doctor Who. Vastra, making Vastra the Sherlock Holmes of the universe. Oh. That was another thing. Vastra was the Sherlock Holmes of this universe. Yeah, saying that she helped, that she was the they gave they, they got the idea from Sherlock from her, right. Oh. I want to know why this doctor all of a sudden doesn't want to regenerate. Like, well, that's, that's a line that she said. She said, if I can't be myself, she would rather, rather die. die. So he thought right. to himself, well, I've been 2,000 some odd years old. I don't want to regenerate. I don't want to be a different doctor anymore. I want to be me. But it's, it's, not, it's not consistent with what this doctor was. And again, this is another thing where I, I keep saying this doctor has not been consistent. It's not consistent with what we've heard from this doctor because there have been instances where he's been put in danger and he was just like, I'll just regenerate. <laughs> like, you know, like on uh, Kill the Moon, which I know we, we love bringing that episode no. up. But they were like, oh, we'll shoot you. And he was like, go ahead. I hope you have enough bullets because I'll just keep regenerating. And I was like, 
The exact guy could have regenerated definitely, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's like, it's like um, how many regenerations I think he even got left? Because he's used a lot. Even Rathlon didn't know. He no, said, yeah. hey, I ordered it, but I remember what I, you know. He, he used a lot on Davos with the Daleks. Well, we don't know. What, well, no. wait a minute, Ray. We don't know if he used a lot. He could have just used one. Or some energy. <laughs> How was that? That's, that's Moffat coming to get you. To pick out the doctor and the ambulance. <laughs> no, he could but, have used up yeah. one regeneration energy, right? Just, but, he never, but he never said, did he? And then, no. there, was that, then there was that little bit with um, Lie of the Land. Now, well, this, I don't even know if that was special effects or what that was. But it'd be nice to know, wouldn't it? It, it would be nice if Moffat told us something or answered a question once in a while, yeah. Just you like know, the, the rules of regeneration, like it's like the, it's like that Dalek said. Uh, the rules like, of regeneration are new. Right, you have and, seen and it, it all your lives. Right, yeah. and then it's like the doctor's like, "Oh, or, or, did you just tell me about the rules?" I think that's literally a motto that Moffat lives by. Is like, "Don't tell yeah. me the rules, I'll break them." Like, right. It's like, oh wait, I, we set up these rules for this character years ago. I don't care. <laughs> My sonic like, screwdriver okay. is a weapon. Can blow up Cybermen. It's yeah. a weapon, a marker, and a communicator now. Well, that when when he started being a marker, then I drew the line. I'm like, you know what? Yeah. This is now. I mean, here's the thing. All right, his sonic screwdriver looks so effing fake that it looks like something you would buy in a in a toy store preschool department. I mean, I'm I'm told, I know that there's no money. But let me tell you something. That design on that sonic screwdriver, at first I thought it was cool. That looks so fake, it looks like a toy. At least yeah. when Russell T. Davis did it, or even Moffin had it, the sonic screwdriver looked metal, it looked real, it looked this is they're not even trying with this thing. This thing yeah. actually looks fake. No offense. The one that was um with Rad in the Forest of the Dead, the one which he gave her, even looked better than this one. I mean that's pathetic. It's pathetic now. I don't. I mean, I never liked the Sonic Shades, and I don't like the Sonic Screwdriver, even though I bought that one too. And talking so. of regen, and talking of regenerations, and that, um, even the master didn't know what, what what how many he had, did he? Well, he wasn't crazy about being a female either. At first, he's like, oh. and, and then he fancied himself. <laughs> he's like, when he's like, when you're a woman, you you're, you have empathy, you have all this. He's like, why are you soft? Like to the doctor, you know? Yeah. No, no. I do not know. All these guys are out of jobs in the BBC, I guess. Now. Yeah, it's, all, it's an They're old female. They're all women oh. working on Doctor Who now. No guys. It's like, um, all right. It's like you're a man. Oh, that no, I'm sorry, you're a, you're, no. The person would be like, if you're a guy, are you gay? Oh, you're in. Uh -huh. Oh, you're straight, and you're now you're out. Sorry. Are you, are you a lesbian? Yeah, you're in. <laughs> sorry. That's that's crazy world we oh. live in now. Oh, my God, I don't yeah. to say that, but. I really hope that they don't go down that road, but like Chris, they are. I, I think they are. Yeah, I think Chris and is it's right. sad, and it's sad to see. Watch the ratings. I'm still yeah. saying Doctor Number Fourteen, but I would not be surprised. Listen, if let me tell you something right now. I don't care whatever agenda they want to do. The moment they lose money, it's over. It doesn't matter. The moment the show loses money because of that, it is over. Completely, all of that. So, we'll see. And again, I'm not saying that the doctor, that there wouldn't be somebody qualified to be the role. I mean, yes, it would probably would be a lot of women that could be the doctor, but the doctor show is bringing them in. That's, even women, even Vaughn was, you know, said, you know, same thing. Yeah. You know, it's like, I mean, Vaughn was yeah. on here before. I mean, we're going to have more, Sally. Um, all the women on our cast said the same thing. So, I mean, you know. No. Nobody's questioning if a woman could play the part. It, it's just you know, can, but the I part mean, is not meant for a woman. Right. No. Right. There's, there's certain parts in Doctor Who which you could get away with it being a woman, but the Doctor is not one of them. But that's, I mean, there's certain parts in every medium that, you know, yeah. it just doesn't make sense for, for, um, for you to gender swap. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if, if in Marvel you were going to do Black Widow and you made, it, you made her a man, it's like, why? Well, that wouldn't like, make sense. That's stupid. Like, it's like DC, if you turned Wonder Woman into Well, look, a they man. turned She-Hulk into Hulk, and that's not working. So guess who they yeah. brought back last week? They brought she back the original Hulk now. Because it's like, oh, okay, he's back from the dead because this ain't working. So there you go. And they already had a Hulk. 
Keep that in mind. Captain America, Hydra Cap, or back, just found him dead. So, all right. And again, this is not a hate rant. This is a reality rant. I uh, want the doctor to remain a, remain a man, and I'm just worried about the future a little bit with that. But I, I am hopeful, too, at the same time. So, I mean, it's kind of weird. Don't you say, Chris? I mean... Oh, I hopefully. think we're all doomed. The puddle monster's coming for us. Uh, <laughs> What's going to be... Yeah, puddle... The pissed. whole season of puddles. Oh, Jesus. Is no, he a puddle uh, monster, too, now? Because there's a puddle on his, inside his head, or is it just... Like, what's that about? We don't know. I have no idea. Could you imagine if they, if they, if like, and we said this before, but like, they, like, he starts crying while he's regenerating, and they show up and like, don't worry, we'll help, and they turn him into a woman. Oh god, no! Oh no! I just, I don't get. He didn't want to be a woman, and now it's like, yeah, right. Why not? What do you mean? I mean, is it just local to one regeneration that you know, like, didn't want to be a woman, or I mean, I don't understand. Why can't they just write scripts that are good? Like, why does that have to be a thing to get ratings? Would that get? Ra- I don't think that would get ratings. It, it no. would. It would at first. The because first episode. You want to see it? Um, but I think as time went on, you would lose the original fans. They would just yeah. be like, "This is Doc." Like Missy's gone, right? So everybody would want Missy to be a man now again, and that again, we're done. Yeah. We're done with that. Like, all right. I don't expect Missy to be another female master. I feel that that's done. Like, it may be done permanently. I don't, you know, or it may happen again, but I really don't see it as that. I think that the whole, I thought that the whole reason she became a woman was to kind of like mess with the doctor, not that it was normal or regular. You know, I thought that she just wanted to get one up on him and just trick him or mess him up. You well, know? really, when, when you look at Missy, and I mean, this is a topic for another cast, but when you really look at Missy and you compare her to some of the other masters, I wouldn't say that she was necessarily the strongest master that they've ever had. No. I think on, one she, hand, on one hand, I would say she is because uh, she basically killed herself. I mean, John Sim. So, well, no, I mean, I, mean, I mean in her overall tenure. Yeah, as the master, she hasn't I, I done anything as a right as a master. Yeah, she hasn't she really killed done some people, anything. but she didn't take over the world like John Sim did. John how many Sim, times? Yeah, no. she she hasn't really done anything that made me go, oh my gosh, like John Sim did. Like she did it for the doctor to give an army. It's like, yeah, oh, every okay. I wouldn't even really consider her. I mean, she's a villain at first, but then she starts turning good, and now we know it wasn't it wasn't a con. She was actually turning good. Right, and, and, and even like, Clara, even though she was joking about he should kill her, she probably was just joking. It was like, nah, you know, he just didn't get the joke. Like so, she likes Clara, or she put, yeah. or she put Clara with him for what purpose? We still don't know. Well, I don't know. Oh, so what were they alluding to? That the master helped create those Cybermen, like John Sims? No, I mean that maybe that's why she used the Cybermen in in Death in Heaven and Dark Water. Right? That's what I think. Yeah, I think so. But yeah. That's so it's reverse. Now you can watch it and it can make sense more. It might make sense a bit better, yeah. More, yeah. I want my friend back. We're, yeah, like, we. Um, okay. Yeah, we might see episodes and then we might see lines that we thought, oh, where did that come from? And then now we might see it linked. But I'm telling you right now, if she regenerates. She's not going to be anything good at all. That's no. out the window because the way Johnson put in the head, you, you, I'll never be. It was just a one do regeneration I'll, thing. I'll, I'll never stand with Yeah, no, she will definitely. Because you know what? Look what Moffat has done half the times. He turned everybody good where it's like, oh, come on. Right? Mm. I mean, a lot of the guys he turned good, even, you know, it's like Handles was good. Rusty the Dalek was good. It's like, you know, Santarns are good now. And Ice Wars are good. So, Lauren, the silence. It's like, stop. I want, it, I want the villains like they were in um, the Pandora Cove. Why can't the villains they, just be villains? Yeah, just that's what, be villains. Yeah, that's what I want. Like when they were in the Pandora Coffins and they were afraid of the Doctor. It's like the Weeping Angels are always going to be villains. I mean, look at that too. There's a good Suntaran. There's a good... Uh, Solorian, Vastra yeah. is like... Hey, good Daleks. It was like... It was Clara as Oswin and then it was Rusty. And then it's like, come on, man. You know. The only one... 
the only one that didn't look like that bad was a like, great intelligence. But again, he didn't even we was lived up to he what he bad. used to be. He yeah. He was a complete joke anyway, though. Yeah, he was. All right, guys, I have to go for a second, so we might be back in a little while. So thank you, Chris. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Bye for now.